Alright, there were two times that I almost got banned from the school computers. The school I went to was really protective over anything having to do with any computer ever. Like, unreasonably wow! protective. Probably because the computers were the only part of the school that wasn't old. I think during the 8 years I was there, the only things that ever actually got fixed or updated were the computers. Our textbooks would be from like 1928, the school was made out of actual bricks, but hey, from the school's perspective, none of that other stuff even mattered. If the computers were good, everything else was good. Their budget meetings must have gone something like, So this year, I was thinking if we allocated some extra funds to our technology department, I actually drew a chart for us. We can still get a few more years out of those textbooks. But the rules were pretty straightforward, just don't mess with the computers basically. And everyone made sure to follow these because anybody that broke a computer rule, the punishment was being banned from the computers, not only for the rest of the year, but for the rest of their time at the school. And you definitely wouldn't want that because whenever anybody else has to do something on the computer, they're going to assign you an on paper version of the assignment. And you already know, the on paper version would not be anywhere near equivalent to the computer assignment. Like the rest of the class watches a 5 minute civil war video, but you, since you got banned, have to write a 5 page civil war report on every battle. Bruh. So in addition to that incentive, they would tell us that if the whole class was good, we would get game day, which always ended up happening like 3 times a year anyways and we'd all feel like we got scammed when the year was over. But game day came with a whole nother set of rules. They had like a list of 3 websites we could go to, and they were always unusually strict about playing games with sound on. Like you're done for if you did that. And every game day without fail, there would always be some kid who forgot to mute his computer before he started the game. So we'd all sit down, we're logging onto our games, it's perfectly peaceful, and then the teacher's like spazzing out, trying to pinpoint which computer the sound is coming from. Bro, 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 how do you turn it off? I didn't even do anything. Come on, bro, you're gonna get game day taken away. Yo, you just shot my computer, what are you gonna do about that? Eh, they'll buy a new one next year. But I always made sure to follow all the rules, cause I wasn't trying to write no 5 page paper to make up for a 5 minute video. Well one day, I just got really bored of typing lessons, I just couldn't handle it. I had to make things more exciting. Basically, the computers there had a mouse and keyboard that plugged into the back, so I'm like, let me just unplug the mouse and keyboard from someone's computer and see their reaction. And no, since no, we were in 4th no. grade, nobody knew what was going on and got like a mini panic attack. But I'd always put it back and everything would be good and fine. Except for this one time, when I plugged it back in, and it didn't work. The girl starts to panic like she's gonna lose all her work, and all I'm thinking is, PLEASE don't call the teacher over here. But luckily, after I messed with the cords for a bit, it started working again. So I'm breathing normally now, and right before I walk out the door after class, the teacher calls me over. She goes, What were you doing earlier? Ooh, working on my assignment? No, like, when you turned around behind you, what were you talking about? And I could tell she kind of knew something might have been up, but not really. So I'm like, oh, you know, just talking about school stuff. Why you always lying? Okay, have a good day. The second time I almost got banned was many years later, so I had a good streak, no snapchat for a while. One morning they make an announcement over the loudspeaker. Attention all students, there will be no more color printing for the remainder of the school year. That is for the entire rest of the school year, no color printing. I guess the school is running low on money, cause there's some broke boys, My money. and decided that no more color printing for the rest of the year. But the only time we ever used color ink anyways was if the teacher specifically asked for it on a paper or something. So I'm like, okay, this isn't even gonna affect me. Not even a week later, I'm in the computer lab, I'm typing up a paper, and my friend sitting next to me opens up clip art, and for some reason searches up zombie and drags this picture of a zombie into my document. And certain clip art photos take up different sizes. So of course this one had to take up the entire page. So I'm like, come on now bro, you can't be messing around like that. And I delete the image, and now my text is all messed up because Word is always freaking out whenever you try to put a picture in it. Probably because it's called Word. But somehow, without me knowing, the zombie got copied like 15 times the 15 pages under my paper. I don't know how I didn't notice, but I print my paper, I'm like, I'm gonna go turn this in, go home, and have a good rest of my day. 
Psych! And of course the printer is right by the teacher's desk, probably for this very reason. So my assignment prints first, and then that's followed by... Bruh. She's right there to see it. She holds up one of the zombies. Who thought this would be funny? See, uh... Um, you had... You... You... You could... You do... I had no idea how to recover from this. At, at that point, I was just about to go find a pencil sharpener and start sharpening pencils. Because do you know how stupid it would sound if I tried to explain that I didn't know they were there? And then, another teacher came in, so I'm like... Okay, now they're gonna gang up on me and it's just gonna be even worse, but you ever have those just really chill teachers? Yeah, she saw the zombies and she just started laughing. She thought it was funny. And that kind of threw the other teacher off guard because I don't think anybody was expecting that. So she just kind of looked at me and told me to throw them in the recycle. Looking back, that teacher probably saved me from carpal tunnel. So big shouts out to her. I know you guys have probably had some close calls with the computers at your schools, so let me know about the times that you almost got banned or maybe you did get banned from your school computers. Also go check out Nutshell's channel, he's got some good stuff over there, I'll post a link in the description, but thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Just in case you thought that I wouldn't get down, I got so many of them on the rebound.